Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic Wrath of the Lich King, our human rogue, and today's Mana Tombs run. We are grabbing the quest here, we are going to jump right into Mana Tombs. As DPS, obviously, we have a 65 Mage, we have a 67 Human Warrior tanking, we have a 67 Human Paladin on heals, and a 64 Dwarf Hunter. The mage is going to win in here. Obviously, the mage is, is just going to win. Especially if we do AoE pulls. But that's okay. We can still have a good time. We'll just try to be helpful to, to the group in other ways, like getting interrupts and stuff like that, since like the DPS we deal is like negligible, it feels like, compared to the warrior and the mage. Imagine if we had a 30 second blade flurry. How amazing we would do in these dungeons if we had a 30 second blade flare. We'd actually feel useful a lot of the time. Which right now I never do. Those of you guys who play on the Rogue, do you often feel this way in 5 mans? Do you feel basically useless during like trash pulls? Because I always feel basically useless during trash. Uh, I, I feel a little bit better when we are uh, doing bosses. But anytime we're fighting groups, I just feel like I'm doing nothing useful. Right now I'm eating, so I mean, this is not a good example, but... There we go. And he dropped a wand.
I don't want to be around when the mana leeches explode. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to be in there getting hit by all those. I'll just hang out back here so I don't get killed. I don't know about pulling this group together like this, but okay. It was a bad time to use Blade Flurry. Thought we had more guys than we actually did. That was my bad. That's definitely not going to help us out with our overall AoE damage. Blowing our cooldowns at the wrong time. We're also lucky that we have so much rested experience. Uh, we're getting pretty good experience in here, but it's mainly because of rested XP. This is the group that needed Blade Flurry. Uh, and it's the group that we, we don't have Blade Flurry. <laughs> yep. Oh, here we go. The, the tank has asked the mage to either put his pet on passive or not pull. <laughs> Which, uh, I don't know about putting the pet on passive. If you're telling it to manually attack, then yeah. Like, we had a keybind for it. We had a keybind to, to make him attack. Um, I don't know about putting him on passive. Not pulling with him is a good idea. That's true, if that's what was happening.
Oh no, it was the hunter's pet, not the mage's pet. The mage has a water elemental out too, but no, I, we were, I guess, talking about the the flying bird pet, which is a good choice. I like I like bird pets too. I think I think bird pets are the best. Not necessarily for their for their stats or numbers, but just aesthetically. Somebody's yeah. The hunter is showing his in combat. That's that's weird. He must have maybe he feigned death up here. All right. Well, the good news is we cleared some of them. Uh, we don't have full poisons up. That's a problem. See, if, if we can do that on every pull, if we had those cooldowns like every other pull, we would do so well at helping the group deal deal damage on the AoE groups, but we can only do it like every fourth pull, so we, we end up being largely useless. But yeah, I'd, I'd say killing spree on a one minute cooldown, blade flurry on a 30 second cooldown, and adrenaline rush on a one minute cooldown, and then we'd be good. We'd be good. We'd probably we'd be on par with other classes as far as how much how much DPS they do to AOE packs. I'm not sure what got them killed. We can interrupt mana burn, that's actually probably pretty useful. That's probably the most useful button that we press. Two-handed sword, Shard the Greater. A shard, a Shard the Greater. Okay. Nobody wants a greater shard. Except us. We won the shard, so. Good for us.
This could be a bad idea. I'm gonna vanish here. I'm not sure exactly what was happening. We see we were taking a bit of damage um, unnecessarily, I thought. Well, we got through it all, and we, we cleared the whole room, so good for us. Well, most of the room. We do have this pack back here to deal with. Alright, looks like everyone is manned up and good to go. I'm going to turn this in, but we're not going to take the follow-up. No, no! Oh, I saw it too late. All the mana leeches. Ah, oh, this is why. <laughs> this is why melee bad. 
Oh, I just wasn't fast enough thinking about getting out. Mm. You gotta get out. When it's time to get out, you gotta get out. You can't wait. If you wait, you end up needing a res. No one wants to be that person, especially when you're a rogue. It gives all rogues a bad, a bad look, you know what I mean? Lost our elixirs from our own stupidity. We are just going to stay out of that. That's the mage's job right now. Yeah, the mage definitely is the one built to handle these guys. Slows them down. They explode without hitting anybody, including the tank. Good stuff. Great job. I have longed for a good adventure. Fascinating things to show you. Oh, he froze us in like the perfect place to stop us. There we go, some cloth boots, spell power, crit strike. No gear for us again. We've been having very bad luck getting any gear out of these runs. Uh, I, oh, we're going to do the escort quest. Okay, right, right, right. Yeah, we should do the escort quest. We got quite a bit of experience in here. We're not going to hit level 67, but after we turn in all of the quest and we do the escort quest, we'll be, we'll be pretty close. Well, we turned in one of the quests. Okay, so we're going to have two more quests to turn in. And uh, that'll move us along a little bit closer. We're just trying to get level 68 in Outland, and then we're going to head into Northrend, so... Not too much longer to go. Alright, I believe this is the first place we get attacked.
I love when I meet you guys in dungeons. That's my favorite. Nice heals, by the way. It's been a pleasure. The only time I died was completely my own stupidity, so <laughs> excellent healing. And now we sit through some long roleplay. He says, are you ready to go? And then we still stand there. <laughs> yes, buddy, we are ready to go. The question is, man, are you ready to go? So you don't seem like it sometimes. The jumping warrior ruined the group shot. <laughs> Could have had a nice group shot there.
I don't know if any of those are going to work for the thumbnail, but I tried. That's probably the best shot. We didn't get the mage in it, I'm sorry. I, I love our single target, but it's our it's our AOE needs help. All right, that's it. I can type. I swear. Let's see, nothing for us from this quest reward. That's kind of lame. Uh, and from this one, same thing. Wow, we just totally got ripped off on those quests, I feel like. I don't have great feelings about that. Oh, a shat port? I could definitely use that. We need to go train, so a chat port is actually just what I need. I guess I don't need to say thanks a million times. But yeah, it was a great run. Good tank, good heals, good players, good people. Uh, that was a pretty good one. I am going to take us to Stormwind. We have to go train. Because we haven't done that in a little while. It's been a bit. Overall, a pretty good run. Pretty disappointing, though, how, you know, not only does nothing drop in the dungeon for us, but none of the quests had any leather with agility. Oh, man. That's, that's harsh. Alright, guys. I do think I'm going to end the video here, take care of some things in town. And, yeah. Thank you guys for being here for it. I really do appreciate all of your support. It does mean the world to me. Take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again sometime very soon. Bye for now.